with us on the conversation. My guest today is Dr. Kurt Wall. He's a medical professional. He works in Southwest St. Catherine, the same constituency in which he's trying to unseat the JLP's Everett Warmington, a man who has said he's retiring after the next general election. No doubt, perhaps, he has been energized by the entry of Dr. Wall into the politics because indications suggested that he would have left the political scene ahead of the next election. But he says he wants another stab at defending his crown, and it will be six times he would have represented the constituency in the parliament if he wins at the next election. But the gentleman sitting, from, sitting across me, if he has his way, Warmington's time will be up. Let me go through some numbers, which you know, but this is just for the benefit of our viewers, Dr. Wall. The so, Southwest St. Catherine has four divisions, Old Arbor North, Old Arbor Central, Old Arbor South, as you know very well, mm -hmm. and Churchpen Division. Mm -hmm. That was the division that your father represented right. back in the day when he was a councillor. Mm -hmm. uh, Signum is gone, which right. was a huge, a JLP stronghold mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And a part of Churchpen has also been, been, been right. shaved off. Right. So the, the constituency Mount looks a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But February 2016, February 25, 2016, when the country went to the polls, Warmington got 11,300 votes second in the country, and there are 63 seats, mm -hmm. second in the country only to Western St. Mary's Robert Montague, who got 11,700 plus. Yes. So Warmington said, I got the second highest number of votes of any candidate in the whole country in the mm -hmm. election. Mm -hmm. He won 55% of the votes cast, beating his PNP challenger, the late Dr. Uh, late, uh, Myers by, Mears, mm -hmm. Mears by mm -hmm. over 2,000 mm -hmm. votes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the voter turnout was 50 odd percent, mm -hmm. which in the context of things was solid because there were many constituencies with 30 mm -hmm. odd percent voter mm -hmm. turnout and 40 odd percent. Also, when you look at it, Warmington won 2002, he won 2007, he won 2011, he won 2016, and he's lining on. Of course, he had won 83. No, he won 1980, bigger right. part. 83 was the he, walkover, but right. 80 to 83, there you go. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. So he's going for number six. That's where mm -hmm. the six comes from. Mm -hmm. With all those numbers said, the reality is painted by those numbers. We have a popular saying here, uh, sports magazine, that men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Mm -hmm. The numbers suggest that this Dr. Wall is a hard man to beat. How are you going to do it? It's definitely. Definitely, it would be a, a very hard man to beat. But this is the reality. Warmington has been the member of parliament in Southwest St. Catherine for over 20 years. When you combine all the times, you have won. And, you know, I won't bash him. He has done some things, but this is the current reality mm -hmm. in Wollaba. Right now, we have a town which is underdeveloped. It's rapidly expanding in terms of population. Mm -hmm. We have a little police station that's tucked away in our corner. Mm -hmm. Our current fire station had to be, had to be abandoned because mm -hmm. they were given notice. Mm -hmm. And they had adequate time to prepare the whole one, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. So now the fire station is also tucked away in a little corner in a house that they rented. Ooh. And, you know, it, 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 it's, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. You understand? The town is just this one street go through. Mm -hmm. We had a bypass before it was taken away from us, mm -hmm. right? You have in the north of the constituency, mm -hmm. which is Old Arbor North. Mm -hmm. Many, that, is the, that is the biggest uh, division of the constituency. Mm -hmm. And the vast majority of those persons are without running water. But he'll say to, he'll say to you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Wall, mm -hmm. that in Old Harbor North, mm -hmm. his councillor, Keith Knight, mm -hmm. won 64% of the votes there in the last local government elections in November 2016. Well, so, so clearly the people rewarded them for doing well. well the, the counsel, that council election was an anomaly. The debushing scandal, you know, mm. one North has always been a strong PMP area, you understand? Yes. But, you know, with hard times, take you and you, you, you flush them with $160 million. You know, it, you, know you, you may get the results you're looking for. So, so, so you're saying that he swayed the election with some spending? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh. It, it happened all over Jamaica. Yes. You understand? But we're, we're going back for the North strongly. Yeah. I'm saying with all of that money spent, mm -hmm. and... It, when I go to my friends in Kingston, you may drive seven miles up into the hill, and when you turn on their water pipes, pressure knock you down. Mm -hmm. You go anywhere, you go in, in, in red ground, buttons, mm -hmm. tanks, black tanks litter the, 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 the environment. So, so, so you're saying that once you go up Darlington Drive, you're going into black tank territory? I'm telling you. Mm. It's, it's terrible. Mm. And pipes are here, but there's no water. Mm -hmm. You understand? I don't know. Something went terribly wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't see anybody making any would attempt to fix it. Yes. And I, I will fix it. Yes. So, so, so <coughs> if, if, if we're the Old Harbor Central, mm. he won, well, his, the, the JLP's counsel, Steve Graham, won 
63.86%, right. call it 64% mm. of the votes, beating Ezworth Frankson. Mm. In Old Arbor South, which is, you, you, you're from Old Arbor Bay. Yeah, yes. There you go. Mm. So South would be your area. Mm. Lloyd Grant came home, 55% of the votes, beating Peter Davis. Mm -hmm. And then Church Pen is where the, jail, the JLP are, have been traditionally strongest, mm -hmm. despite your father having won for the PNP in another time. Mm -hmm. Andre O'Connor, 70, almost 72% of the votes, beating Andrew Robinson. Yes, yes. So, so, so based on how the numbers are aligned and notwithstanding the problems, and this is where I wanted to answer the question from, the JLP having cornered all four divisions in the constituency puts Warmington in a position, Dr. Wall, from which he can build on that success right. to return to Gordon House another time. So the, the, the question is, you point to the issues in the north, in the, in the, in the, in the, the, the largest division, mm -hmm. but are there sufficient problems that you can highlight to the people for them to believe that you can change to wrest Warmington's grip from the rest of a constituency that is firmly in JLP's hands? Well, in Old Arbor Central, that's, yes. a, that's, that's the town, yes. right? And I said, the, the town is woefully underdeveloped. Mm. It has always been a JLP stronghold. You, know? you understand? Yes. But I think persons are beginning to see now that, you know, the, the partisan nature uh, of Mr. Warmington. Mm. If, you, if you go through Old Arbor town, you can, you can go through and tell the areas which are PNP strongholds. Mm -hmm. You will know it by the roads are still in the poor, deplorable Oh, so they don't, they, they don't fix PNP roads? In my, well, well, from my, PNP from roads, my, because yeah. it's Jamaicans, but they don't. Yeah, from, yeah. My, from my perspective, yes. you know, you're going to some PNP strongholds, you can tell that yes. this, peer, this place is a PNP stronghold. You know, yes. the roads are in deplorable condition. Yes. You understand? And I said the town, the town is woefully underdeveloped. Yes. You understand? But, but take yeah. me upon that. Take me upon that. Mm. What is, when you sit with your, your, your team mm. and, and, and those who advise you, those who you, you take into your mm. council, and you look at what Old Harbor is. You look at the town, the small town, the mm. tiny market, mm. the usual places of, 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 of fast food and all that that mm. are there now. Mm. You look at the population centers around it. Mm. Old Harbor Villas is tiny, but you look up in what we used to call Capture Land, which mm. has now been renamed, and right. some huge communities now there. Definitely. So many people, so many professionals, mm. and the town as it is. What do you think is the way to developing the town? What would you put in? What, what do you think it needs? Well, firstly, we need to ease some of the traffic congestion. Mm. Because most persons in the, in the 90s, before the, the, the start of Highway 2000, we had a bypass, yes. right? We traversed from gutters, and it, 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 it landed you in Freetown. Yes. The, the, that road was mainly for persons who were just traversing all over town. Persons coming from Kingston, probably going to, to Maypin or Maneville, right? That road, that road was incorporated into the highway. Into the highway. So that leaves most persons, somehow they have to actually come into the town mm -hmm. in order to, to pass through all over. Mm -hmm. So it creates a, a traffic congestion. Mm -hmm. And se separate and apart, the, 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 the bus park was built. I, I don't think most of the taxi men are daring to the rules there, you know, understand? Yes, yes. And I don't know why, but you know, that has to be addressed. Probably it's just the location. Yeah. And it, it creates a traffic congestion. Mm -hmm. I know persons, thank God for the highway, as expensive as it, as it is. Yes. Most persons would rather jump on the highway and probably go to Spanish Town or, 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 or go to Maypin, mm -hmm. you know, or even, you know, to do business yes. rather than going to the town. Yes. To benefit our people. Yes. If we could get some more, some more, you know. See, so the first thing is the road. Uh, it's the road, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. Need, yeah. 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 Mm. Remind me, where is the, 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 the taxi stand? I'm thinking of a KFC right where Honeycrust Bakery used right. to be. Mm -hmm. So I see some taxi man there from time. That's right. where the taxi stand is? No, there's another taxi stand down on Burke Road. Oh, oh, right. oh. You so know? you're saying that the location of the taxi stand is, it, is itself a problem because it, it, of the it, it, spillover because from it, the... Yeah, and it, yeah. It, 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 I don't think the, the taxi men use it as they should. Yeah. So it creates a, a, a traffic congestion in the town. Chaos. Yeah. Apart from roads, the town center, what would you do with, with the market? Because, because I'm asking you the questions mm. that the people we are looking to win votes from are going to ask you when you mm. hit the road mm. fully in campaign mode, you know? How would you make the market better? Well, I tell you, I used to go to that market when I was a boy, and I, I still go there. Mm -hmm. And when I compare we'll have a market to like a Linsid market, you know, when I go to Linsid market, it's the amount of people it attracts. Mm -hmm. we'll have a market could attract a lot of people, you know, if, if it was bigger, you know, a more open space. Yes. Is there the space to expand? Well, I, I doubt it. I doubt, I doubt there is much space. So what would you do? Relocate the market to another definitely, part of the de town? Definitely. Definitely. Is that space there? Is there anywhere else that you could move to to give the space that an ordinary market would well, require? There, there is space, but from my 
I gather that the space is, is privately owned, but you know, negotiations. Buy it. Yeah, <laughs> negotiations, you know, yeah. could 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 get this land, you know. I've to, always thought, Dr. Wall, mm, that mm. all right, looking at where the market is and looking at where the taxi stands are and the, 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 the big KFC, and we have mm. to use it as a market, we're not mm. giving KFC a free plug. Mm. I thought that, well, you're restricted in what you can build there. Mm -hmm. So maybe you need to go further out, down to where, what's it called, Gateway Plaza? Right. The, the, down that side, you may have more space to do more things. Right. And maybe, maybe given the space down there, you could maybe find a way to fit a market there mm -hmm. to utilize the space and ease some of the traffic that the market attracts down to that side. Definitely, maybe definitely. that's a way that you could go. Yeah, that, that, that is possible. Yeah. You know, that is possible. Is, is the, the business community within Old Harbor, have they said to you or given you an indication that they are come? And I don't want you to name names. I don't want you to get yeah. in trouble. Are they comfortable with what they have on their hands? Or are they believing that they could be making even more money, they could be employing more people if the thing was more expanded, if the thing was more orderly? What have they been saying? Well, as I say, any business-minded person would see that, you know, the possibilities if this thing was designed better mm -hmm. is far greater than what they have now. Far, far greater. You understand? Any, any, any sense of a business, and they are saying it. Yeah. They are saying it. And uh, a lot of the, the civics group, they are saying, you know, we are bringing in all of these housing developments. Yes. And not, not even the discussion yes. of how to go about to develop the town has begun. Yeah. How can you be doing all of this and not even the discussion yeah. to see how, how will we see our way out after we bring in all of these new housing developments? What will happen to all our town? Is it based on your best information? Mm. Can you say with confidence, and you, you hinted at it, uh, mm. I'm, I'm going to ask you to say it out right now, mm. the people who live in and around Old Harbor Town, and we're focusing on that because it's mm. such a huge part of mm. Southwest St. Catherine, right. do they bother doing business there, or they just go somewhere else, and where they're coming from work, they try to do their shopping, and they just don't go into town at all because of the chaos? Right. That, that happens a lot. I can mm. tell you. It happens and that's a, a problem. Yes. Especially even persons who live probably five minutes away from the town, you know. Yes. It may be half an hour drive if you're going down there. Yes. So you, you jump on the highway, you, or you just go on the Old Harbor Road and head, head to Spanish Town, or you jump on the, the lower road and head to, to Maypen, yes. you understand? And you, you come back out quicker than if you were to go around in the hustle and bustle. Yes. You know, there's very little parking, but a lot of chaos. Yes. I can't tell you that. So you're saying that when the housing developments were conceived, mm. were conceptualized, mm. there wasn't a part of the plan to say, okay, how will this space of this small town accommodate so many people? Well, well if it's there, no one has seen it. Mm. And, and, you know, the powers that be aren't discussing it. So. Yes. And you're saying that the two important services, fire and police, what they have now... You, you say the, the, the fire service is in a rented house? The, the, the yeah, the fire station. The, the, the fire station, it was, it, it, the, the building, the original building got so deplorable that they left the building and yes. they were renting a building close to the train line. Yes. But they, they got notice. Right? Yes, I know that building, just down from Olava High School. Right. Yes. Right. So now they had to move to, a, I think it's a rented house up by Mali Acres. Yes. Yes, son. I've, I've been, when the day when the firemen were moving out and the firewomen were moving out, I, yeah. I went down there and I spoke to them and, yes. you know, all of them, nobody had any form of confidence in, you know, in, in what was happening with this whole fire, you know, the accommodations. Yes. You understand? So, and I'm thinking, you know, after, after four, one, one term plus four consecutive wins, yes. I said, if it, if it hasn't happened then, yes. it will never happen. Mm. His new term will be a lame duck, as we call it. Mm. He will be just coming in, trying to secure the seat if he wins. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I will work very, I will work tooth and nail. This man is somebody, he has said it, he wants to retire, he wants to go into theoretical politics. Mm -hmm. I'm, telling to the, I'm telling the persons of the, the constituent of Southwest St. Catherine, let Mr. Warmington go into retirement. Hear you on that. Mm. We take a break. We're halfway through the conversation with Dr. Kurt Wall, lining himself up to be the PNP candidate in Southwest St. Catherine at the next general elections, which we, of course, we do not know the date of just yet.